back with more of Tahoe today. Very special guest joining us in the studio, Dr. John Finoff from Barton. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for inviting me in today. Yeah, of course. Um, so tell us what you've got going on next Wednesday. Yeah, the Lake Tahoe Community College Wellness Series um, occurs on Wednesdays each month. And uh, next Wednesday is, is one of those lecture series, and it's on sports concussions. I'll be talking about sports concussions. And sports concussions happen way more than you would think up here in Tahoe, just in every season, too. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's actually an epidemic. There's uh, over seven figures of, of concussions that happen every year in the United States. Um, and that's just in sports, not including other, other types of activities. And there are a lot of high-risk activities here in Tahoe. Motorcycling, skiing, of course, your traditional football and basketball, soccer. Yeah. Uh, but even water skiing, you can get a concussion. All it takes is having your head shake. And your brain is kind of like jello inside of a hard skull. And as it rotates inside of that skull, it stretches your nerves and causes some damage, and, and that results in a concussion. If you have had already, if you've had a concussion, are you more prone to getting them if you land on your head? You absolutely are. You have about a three to five times higher risk of getting a subsequent concussion if you've suffered a prior concussion. And actually, it's interesting because a lot of people think of a concussion as kind of a ding, you know, it's not a big deal, you're going to get better. And for the most part, most concussions you do get better from. But the fact of the matter is, is that they're actually a really, really dangerous injury. And if you have a concussion and you're still symptomatic and you sustain another hit to your head, yeah. you have the risk of, uh, of having second impact syndrome where your, your brain swells and mm -hmm. it increases the pressure inside of your head and it, and it can kill you. So, you know, it's not like an ankle sprain where if it's sore, you can go out and still do your activity. Yeah. I mean, your brain, uh, it, it's, it's sort of a life or death situation. Yeah, it's really scary. I was up at the sand pits um, motorcycle riding mm -hmm. and one of the girls that was doing it too, she, she fell and started convulsing and they, Cal Star had to come and it was so scary. I, I felt like I was gonna throw up, you know, just knowing that, she, and I guess she had already had a concussion and then Cal Star had to come and it was very scary. Oh, it absolutely is, it yeah. absolutely is. Do you recommend people who are doing high risk sports up here get a Cal Star membership just in case? CalSTAR membership's not a bad thing in, in general, uh, you know, because we all participate in relatively high-risk activities. And even if you just drive a car, that's a high-risk activity. Yeah. And, uh, and that's it's better to be prepared. It's like buying insurance. Yeah. yeah. Do you see more people for sports with concussions, or do you see... I only do sports concussions, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm not seeing people from other types of... Uh, yeah, exactly, like injury. But, uh, and the, you know, they're treated very differently also. Yeah. But I do sports concussions and just a few things that people should be aware of. I mean, number one, a uh, concussion doesn't require a direct blow to the head. It, it can happen from being hit anywhere as long as your head gets shaken around. Mm -hmm. And if your head gets shaken around and your brain, uh, you know, moves inside of that skull, you can get a concussion. A concussion, yeah, a concussion does not require a loss of consciousness. All it requires is a change in your nerve function and the most common symptom of a concussion is a headache. So if you're out there and you're riding your bike and you fall and you get up and you have a, a headache, you, you had a concussion right there by definition. And so they're actually really common. I talked a little bit about some of the you know, second impact syndrome, so, so the severity associated with concussions. But also with multiple concussions over time, you can develop a thing that a lot of the professional athletes are starting to get, which is chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And it's, it's a long word, but yeah. it's where people uh, start having difficulty with memory. So early onset Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. they get movement disorders like Parkinson's disease, emotional problems like depression. Um, and it's a real issue in our athletes right now. But I think that as we're seeing a lot of people just out recreationally skiing and they hit their head several times a yeah. season, we're going to start having this type of problem happening in the general population and not just in professional sports. So it's really a serious problem. Yeah, and you think like when you're so young and you're an athlete, you just want to keep going and going and you, you think Absolutely. even if you hit your head so many times, I'm still young, yeah. you know, and they just want to keep going and going. They need to kind of find that breaking yeah. point. Yeah. This has been so interesting. Thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks um, for having so me. So more information, Wednesday night, 6. Yeah, when, August, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, August 1st. <laughs>
Uh -huh. Not today. Correct. At 6 at the Lake Tahoe Community College. Where's it at at Lake Tahoe? It's in the Tahoe? Aspen Room. Aspen Room. Okay, yeah. so find the directory. Find the Aspen Room. And if people want to visit you at Barton, where, where can they find you? I'm at Tahoe Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Okay. And uh, so that's affiliated with Barton. Mm -hmm. And we're in the phone book. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's been really lovely to meet you. Thank you. And uh, Kate, if you're watching, have a great day. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kate. Can't wait to meet you. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with more of Tahoe Today coming at you.